you for joining us tonight. I'm Liz Collin. Investigators are searching for answers in the deaths of three people in the last three days in North Minneapolis. On Thursday, 50 year old Michael Whitelaw was found shot to death inside his apartment on Glenwood Avenue. Last night, Dana Logan was shot and killed inside her car. She was one of two victims shot overnight, making them the 32nd and 33rd homicides this year in the city. The daughter of another Minneapolis shooting victim says she's sick of people with helpful information not coming forward. She told our Nina Moyni how she's hoping to take action to catch more criminals on camera. Everyone says it gets better. It doesn't get better. We learn to deal with it in different ways. It's been five months since her mother, Burdell Beeks, was driving her minivan near 21st and Penn Avenues North. The unintended victim caught in a burst of gunfire. Her birthday is coming up soon. The holidays are coming up. Excuse me. So it's becoming a little bit more hard for us all over again. Reliving her mother's murder every time Salisha Beeks hears of another dead shooting victim in Minneapolis. Two of the victims from this weekend were shot while sitting in their cars. Beeks passed through one of the scenes near 36th and Queen Avenues North just before the shooting Friday night. So to think that if I were 10 minutes later, we would have again been a victim to gun violence in Minneapolis. Beeks started a change.org petition to ask the city of Minneapolis and police department to install cameras to shot spotters, a technology used to detect gunfire and alert authorities to the location immediately. These criminals are not staying around to, to wait and the cops pull up. They're gone. The police department says there are cameras placed throughout the city, but none are attached to shot spotters. The location of the shot spotters are kept secret. I just think there needs to be more eyes out there. The community aren't willing to step forward. When something happens, they turn a blind eye, blind eye and it just gets swept under the rug. Beeks has met with Governor Mark Dayton's office about her idea. She's working to set up a meeting with Minneapolis police. There will be a vigil for the most recent victims killed by gun violence at 36th and Penn Avenues North tomorrow at 3 o'clock, Liz. We'll hope to learn more then. Okay. Thank you, Nina.